Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You know? So, that is the reason to point my ORT dual shield there. And when I turn around, wow. Okay, still got it. I have never been able to go this far on 25 milliwatt before, honestly speaking, I can tell you. Very easy to use, very easy to tweak and configure, and works like a charm. Everything works like a charm. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Salish Anmo here. Welcome to more RC video reviews. Today, in this video, I have the Diatone. Hey, Tina! FPV Voop. No idea why they call it Hey Tina. Maybe they simply love their general sales manager named Tina. So they named this quad after her. And it's kind of girlish. Yeah, you will know why I'm saying that. So this comes like that. The Diatone Hey Tina in this little case. So you can carry it around easily. And it's a 2 to 3S. FPV Voop. So this is Diatone Hey Tina. And go ahead check out the Hey Tina what comes in the box like unboxing and a closer look and the specs about it. Then come back right here so we can fly Hey Tina and enjoy some FPV with Hey Tina. Check this out this little beauty Hey Tina. That's why they call it Hey Tina. This does look like a girl a beautiful little female thing is sitting right here. So we have this Voop. Uh, there's no HD camera on it, it just says run cam FPV and I don't see any kind of specs that actually say that you can insert a TF card and record videos right there. I don't know why they're calling it Cinevoop because anyway you have to install a stripped GoPro on it or you know some lightweight camera like uh, Insta 1360X, those are very lightweight, or Insta Go, those are really nice cameras for such little things. Also, they have given you, hmm, see, different colors of uh, spare, these ducts kind of thing. Okay, so these are the spare, different colors. I still like it in this color. I mean, I wouldn't make it so colorful. Anyway, after that, hold on inside there are more stuff here we have a little screwdriver we have a hey tina band is it is it for your head is i i will just you know put it on my hand like that on hey tina looks kind of good man <laughs> then we have the cables for you to install your receivers really it doesn't come with the receiver oh come on i have to install another receiver now and then we have propellers accessories there's a beeper here okay zip ties and a velcro okay velcro strip then we have a little bit of user manual right here now if you look at it i actually like the toughness on these prop guards i don't know if i should call them ducts or prop guards but they are really nice and tough and they will definitely not break and not let the propellers break so you can actually keep flying and also make it also makes this Hey Tina perfectly safe to fly around people because the props are digged in a lot. So it's really very, very safe uh, to fly around people. One more thing, notice that the props are spinning downwards, okay, not the upwards. So when you install the propellers, make sure to check the spinning direction and installation direction. By the way, I have I will be flying it with my SkyZone FPV video goggles, O3 or OLED, and I have just installed this dual shield from ORT and Foxeer Wildfire. Check this out. It's time to test how Foxeer Wildfire is gonna provide me a solid, stable, and nice FPV video feed in this area, because in this area, normally, Normally, I do not get very good FPV reception, no matter what quads I fly. So we'll find out how good the ORT Dual Shield and Foxeer Wildfire is today as well. All right, so I'm also running this little... I'm also running the fixed camera. My Foxeer Wildfire is locked onto... Hey, Tina! 
Uh, flying with 2S battery. Stabilize mode. Not enough power with the 2S battery, but flies really nice and smooth. I am watching Jello as well. Yep, there is some Jello here. But overall, man, look at that. The way it flies, it's superb actually. Alright, now let's talk about the. Foxier wildfire reception with ORT dual antennas. Normally if I do this with other quads, I will have one of the worst receptions. Terrible, ter terrible receptions. And I will have to, you know, quit and get my quad high up in the air. But today you watched it, how well it actually, you know, I didn't lose the feed. I had really nice now we are doing some inspections of the light looks okay to me <laughs> okay so yes let's try again now I'm talking about not in front of me I'm talking about going right side of these ORT dual shield and flying that low under with lots of trees bushes and right here in this point I will have something but nothing that actually bothers see this is absolutely awesome. What if, what if I turn my head right towards the quad? All right, let's let's try it left side. Man, this flies really nice and stable. Okay, left side is good. Having some glitches. I'll turn my head towards the quad, and look at that. I will normally lose completely the video feed but now ooh nice man wildfire does make difference and hey Tina hey Tina is actually flying really nice okay now I'm gonna go right again okay uh, again going right of myself I want to do that I always want to do that going through my bike there so I'm gonna go right and turn my head right completely Completely as much as I can to point my ORT dual shield there and when I turn around Wow last time I had glitches when my head wasn't turned and now it was clear and nice how sweet okay now I'm gonna fly behind me hey Tina is flying behind me beautifully I'm going in the trees and behind the ORT dual shield man I have good reception now it's breaking up but it's a still good for me to control and fly that is superb even behind me having to have these patch antennas the reception is so nice now that is awesome man this is Super awesome. So I found a very, very nice combo that actually works absolutely perfect. And I'm not gonna worry about the reception, broken reception. Oh, oh, I crashed it. There was that was this thing that slapped me. Okay, hold on. How do I flip it back? Like that. Okay. And uh oh run away we got stuck in the stones so I'm gonna go pick it up hold on honestly speaking I have never had such good reception before in this area when flying quadcopters and to be honest the video transmitter in this hey Tina is actually running on 25 milliwatt only I did not change it to normally what I do when I come to these areas I always change the video transmitters to their max power well I didn't honestly today I didn't do it on 25 milliwatt I'm flying it around normally where I actually lose foot lose reception with built-in diversity in the sky zone with 
Foxier Wildfire here and ORT Dual Shields. I am amazed that only 25 milliwatt. I'm just flying around in those areas where I used to lose reception before and I have absolutely very nice video feed, very solid link. I'm sure in front of the dual shields I can go pretty far with the Hey Tina while the video transmitter is on 25 mm. I'm gonna put in a fully charged 3S battery and go straight ahead in front of me in this uh, you know football ground and see how good is the reception so let's do it again hold on so flight 2 of Hey Tina to test the reception on 25 milliwatt on video transmitter set to 25 milliwatt in Hey Tina and <laughs> and wildfire with ORT dual shield antennas okay so I'm gonna go probably air mode let's try that with 3S oh nice A little higher because there are some nets here. Man, look at that. I can see the reception on the wildfire diversity channels easily. Okay, still got it. I have never been able to go this far on 25 milliwatt before, honestly speaking, I can tell you. And I'm sitting here, I'm not standing, I'm actually sitting here. The camera angle is not too high, so I'm just gonna have fun with this football goal. Goal! Hey, Dina did a goal! Okay, that was nice. Let's come back. I am having fun. Hey, Tina is actually flying really nice. It's absolutely beautiful flyer nice it's it's gonna be nice i wish i had a 360 insta1 360 camera which i could install on it i'm trying to save some money so i can actually you know install that camera on it and shoot some hd video with hey tina you know oh no hey tina the camera is there It doesn't have that much power to pull acrobatics or aerobatics, but has enough power to fly around for cinematic shots, nice and cool cinematic shots like these that you are watching. Ooh, ooh, that was very close to my face, I believe. Absolutely enjoying it, man. The hey, Tina, and wildfire from Fox here is definitely putting me in love here, man. I'm simply loving it. These ORT dual shields, and this wildfire is just superb. I just don't understand why I didn't get it before, man. I should have gotten it, should have bought it before. But yeah, yeah, that, the reason I didn't buy Wildfire is because I didn't own, you know, Fat Shark video goggles. And these are designed for Fat Shark only, you know? So that is the reason I didn't get it. But then I found this module bay for Sky Zone goggles. And I thought, you know, this is about time I say goodbye to diversity of the sky zone OLED and say hello to 18, no, so to Wildfire from Foxier. Thank you very much, Foxier, for making the Wildfire. It is absolutely nice. Very easy to use, very easy to tweak and configure and works like a charm everything works like a charm man okay we are running out of battery so let's land it let's land hey tina hey tina 
here comes Haiti now. And I'm gonna land it right here. I hope my sky zones are actually recording. That's some really nice, really nice reception. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Loving the wildfire, ORT dual shields, and hey Tina, enjoy and stay tuned for more videos. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.